Finance Minister Praveen Gordon has been a hot topic since he was called back from a trip to London by the President. I'm sitting down with Maurice Madiba from Cloud Atlas Investing. He's going to tell us how this instability in the Treasury is affecting South Africans' economy. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. All right, so we're talking about how um, this commotion is affecting South Africa's economy. Tell me what we've seen on the markets since this happened. So markets typically react negatively to news uh, that there's some squabbling happening at the top of National Treasury, just because of the importance of this institution to the country. Um, a lot of people just see National Treasury and see it as a separated entity, but it actually um, is the holding, if I can say, holding company of the SARS and also the Reserve Bank. So it plays quite a significant role in our economy. And when people start seeing that at the top there's uncertainty around who's leading this institution, um, it causes investors to scramble. So you'll always notice if a headline comes out around National Treasury that the RAND automatically weakens. Uh, and today, I mean over the past couple of days, it's weakened significantly from 12 RAND 30, it's now sitting at 13.05. That's that's a, a big jump. Yeah. When's the last time we we've seen the RAND weaken like this? I, I feel like I feel like we've seen it a lot yeah. <laughs> recently. Yeah. Tell tell me about some of the trends we're seeing when it comes to the fluctuation of the RAND. So if you look at the initial time this. Uh uh, this this incident started um, when the minister was recalled, the then minister of finance, uh, Mr. Nene, or as they call it, the Nene Gate, and then you had uh, interim finance minister. You saw the rand shoot all the way to close to 17 against the dollar, which was the unprecedented level. So then, what you find is it retracted a little bit throughout the year. Um, but because there was still all of this uncertainty as to why was Treasury, um, you know, under so, so vulnerable, you saw the rand maintain levels of 13, 14 rand, and then it came off. It came off uh, those low levels. Now to come to 12 uh, after things started happening in the U.S., and then that was good for the rand up until now. But we've seen a massive spread from 12.30 to about 16.90, which is um, in the past less than 24 months, which is just un unbelievable. Mm. You, you mentioned international investors start to scramble when we see fluctuations like this. Tell me about the message that we're sending to international uh, in investors through, through the politics that are happening within the uh, finance industry. Yeah. So now, you know, as globalization sort of takes place, you start to see the importance of these government institutions, one being National Treasury. In the United States, it's what they call the US Fed or the Federal Reserve. Um, and how an impact of one statement can affect global markets um, crazily. Uh, same thing in South Africa, um, you sort of see whatever happens in National Treasury will affect our domestic currency because South Africa is connected to the rest of the world in quite a meaningful way. So. What happens is that uh, you know international investors would say the governance here. This is the message that would be sending that governance here um, is vulnerable. You know, and that's one thing that investors don't want to uh, really put their money towards. We see it a lot in in the rest of Africa. But what we're looking to do is to say, the government sends out a clear message when they do these roadshows to say, look, we are not vulnerable. We are a great investment destination. Um, and that's what the minister was actually doing on his most recent trip, you know, to inform people that this is where, where South Africa is. It's ironic that the minister was overseas trying to promote South Africa as a great place to invest, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, true. But he's done a good job. I mean, we averted a downgrade last year. Um, so him and his team have really done a good job um, to stop investors from, from downgrading our, um, our economy.